Hello guys, and welcome back to the Grand Stream Saga. This is E.T. Young for this, and uh, last episode we got here to the town of Pixum, and uh, explored it a little bit, found out there's this religion going on here that is splitting the town up between the people and making them fight. Kind of odd, kind of annoying. We are here to fix this and also raise the continent. But anyway, this guy right here, yay! We can sell the legendary magical rod that we found in the last episode to him. For a thousand gems, which will basically make up for that magic spell that I had purchased earlier. Which is actually pretty much pretty good. Anyway, after we go talk to him and talk to Laramie at the actual tra chapel, there should be... Um... Or not. What the crap is happening? I thought there was, would be a... Uh, seen there. Apparently not. So let's go ahead and talk around to uh, all these guys real soon. Yay, too much water in the dam, yeah. I kind of figured. But, what the crap is happening? No, not yet. I haven't found Tolman yet. Still looking around, woman. Be ye not afraid. Oh, this world is about to perish. Everyone will die. But if you pray to Levante, you will be resurrected. He will help you purge yourself of your sinful nature. You should attend Salela's sermon. Who is Salela? What? You've never met her? No, I just arrived on this continent yesterday. Oh, I see. Salela is the founder of Kells. If you listen to one of her sermons, you will find sanctity. If you join the Kells, you will be saved from hell and the fiery depths of brimstone and fire and burning and all the wailing and gnashing of teeth. I see it is talking to youth. Yay, this is what I wanted to do. Anyway, do you know of any wise men? Oh, you must be the travelers who have come to our town. Yes, how did you know? After told me about you, I think you are all looking for wise men. You should see Salela. Salela? Who is she? She is the widow of a wise man. There is a meeting now. Would you like to accompany me? I'd like to, but I need to tell Aeon. Look right behind you. He's right there. I see. Please try to join us. I'm right here. I heard the whole conversation. Ah, I found someone who can introduce us to a wise man. Or a widow of one. I don't want to go alone, so will you come with me? Sure. I will go with you. Oh, you must be Aeon. I heard that you were looking for the wise men. You probably are also concerned about your fate. Am I right? not really concerned about my fate, whether I die or whether I save this continent is no consequence to me, but anyway, I'll go ahead and say yes. You should listen to a sermon by Salela. There's a meeting now. Would you like to come? What should we do? Let's go. Maybe we'll find something useful. What do you do? Attend the meeting? Sure. Let us go. Enough repeating yourself game. It is getting annoying, but whatever. Kelson Cave entrance to the rescue. It isn't here. I'm a little scared. It don't be such a worry wart. You stupid spirit beast. Anyway, did you say something? It's a talking bird, whatever. Yeah, have you never seen a talking bird before? They're called parrots. You know, they sit on pirates' shoulders and they go, Wah, probably want a cracker. Type of thing. Anyway, whatever. Let us go inside, finally. Open up. Yes. I want to see who the Salela woman is. What the crap this Kells religion is. Why the crap is it dividing the town? The place is eerie, but perhaps we'll find a wise man's descendant. Or a widow of a wise man, anyway. I'm going to investigate. Yeah, and play the... Alright, yeah, we'll go with you, Arcia. Holy crap, I cannot read <laughs> We're going to have ourselves an adventure. Come on, Aeon, let's go. Yay, adventure time! We shall go investigate. But first, I think there are some items that we can get out here. I could be completely wrong. If you keep going, you'll exit the cave! Actually, we're not even in the cave yet, Corky. Why the crap are you saying we're going to exit the cave when we're not even inside a cave? Oh, well. He, Corky's a strange beast. He's interesting. This is where the Kells live. I'll, I'll wait here. Feel free to look around. 
crap is going on, Arshia? Excuse me, Aeon. I don't want to go alone. Will you come with me? Sure thing. That's why I'm here, aren't I? Thank you. Let's go look around this Kells camp of crap. Anyway, when you're done with the visit, please let me know. Alright, let us go into this dragon lair that Corky is so nervous about. Shut up, Corky, don't really want to talk to you. Ooh, found some clothes. My goodness, talk about body odor. Somebody needs to shower a lot more often. Apparently it's Laramie's clothes, because she doesn't have a shower and she kind of doesn't. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, if you would like to be sanctified, join us. Join us, be our master, meet our master. And our goal is to attain a state of spiritual awakening. Those who are not concerned with this are misguided and will never find sanctity. Yeah, these guys are brainwashed. I can tell you this right now. It sounds kind of interesting why they'd be here doing this, but eh, whatever. What? Why will you not let me go past? This is off limits. Okay. Screw you, dude. Ooh, save crystal. Might need to use that in a little bit. Is there anything in here? No. And... Yeah. I don't think there's anything really of importance here, but... This is off limits. Only leaders are allowed. You should leave now. Rude, people. Seriously. One of your people... One of your people has invited me to go take a tour of your camp in good in good faith that will join your crazy wacko religion and you're not even gonna let me take a tour of your actual facilities this is bullcrap I am calling shenanigans I will if you keep this up guys I will not join your religion this is that is not how brainwashing goes if you want to brainwash people you will have to tell them what the crap your organization is about, but as of right now, you have not told me what this organization is about. You just told me about sanctity, resurrection, death, and all this. But whatever. Inside is the meeting hall, but you can't enter. You must be accompanied by a member. Phew. Apparently, none of these guys want me to go anywhere. Why the crap is that? I smell something fishy. Or apparently that's the Laramie's clothes, one of the two. I don't know, don't ask me. And we must purify ourselves and find the path which will lead us to salvation. This land is littered with heathens. It must be cleansed. Alright, dude. You and your salvation can go take a hike. I don't care. Anyway, I am tired of this place. I am finished, yes. Well then, let's go to the meeting hall. Finally, somebody take me to the freaking meeting hall. Salela. Oh no, the sermon has already begun. Hurry. This world is about to perish. We have found our savior, Levante. We are the chosen few who will be resurrected in the new world. Now is the time to unite in prayer. Cleanse us and take our blood. You are our guide, Salela. So Layla, I have brought you to I have brought you two new members, Arcia and Aeon. Let us thank Levante for saving us from this tainted world. Um, I have not agreed to become a member. You just wanted to take me on a tour of your crazy operational base, and so I took you up on that offer, but I still am not gonna become a member. Seriously. You guys are way too confusing. Hey, they think we are we are Kel's believers. Yeah, I kind of figured that. But we must try to unite those who share our blood so that we may all be together. Only those who are not believers deserve to be left to face this terrible fate. Almighty oh, Levante, bless our souls. Now we are ready for salvation. I see we have some newcomers. I hope they will listen carefully. This world is tainted by ungracious inhabitants. Levante wants to rectify this. A new world is coming. This world is finished. Levante will bring our pure souls into the new world. It will be clean and prosperous. The others will be left to die. 
In the new world, there will be no evil doers. For now, we must try to avoid contact with these pests. They may try to lead us away from the path made, a, made by Levante. We will find our way. And it, it is time to unite and thank our savior, Levante the Almighty. We await the coming of the new world. What are you teaching? What you are teaching them is wrong. Arcia, this is the one way to get your head chopped off. Oh no, here she goes. What? You are telling them that if they don't believe they are dirty. Well, it is true. If one does not pray to Levante, they shall not be resurrected into the new world. The sinking of the lands is caused by the heavy load of impure souls. But you're teaching them that the others deserve to die. The sinful should be purged. Don't you see? The lands are sinking because of them. My people will be guided to a new world, and the rest shall disappear forever. You're wrong. These innocent people have nothing to do with the sinking of the continents. The Imperial Army is the cause of this. There is no other reason. Actually, technically it's not the Imperial Army either. It's just the orbs that are creating the power for the lifting force. And the lands are giving out, so we need to re-energize them. If you paid attention to the intro, Arcia. Anyway, the lands are sinking because of a terrible war a long time ago. Not really. Don't you realize that this is beyond our control? Why look for someone to blame? We all need each other. This is not a time to hate. You must cooperate with one another. Then perhaps someone will find a way to save us all. Finding someone to blame and putting yourselves above them gives a false sense of comfort. You must believe... What you must believe is that we are all living in fear of what is to come, but we cannot find safety by pointing feet, by pointing fingers. Are you questioning me? How dare you criticize what is true? Take this girl away. She must be one of them. Yes, Solela, and the boy too. Aeon too. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. What? I, Aeon didn't do anything. Why the crap are you punishing Aeon? He was just trying to take a tour of your base. Our service has been disrupted by this little wretch. Levante is angry. We must pray for forgiveness. Otherwise, he may leave us here to perish with the others. Let us join together and hope for mercy so we may be resurrected. And no, I will not say salvation again in that voice, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of saying salvation Arcia stood up for what she believed in unfortunately it resulted in them getting thrown in the dungeon for those of you who skipped the cutscene before that is exactly what happened in the morning what the crap happens I don't know we shall find out together hey Aeon yes Corky are you alright they beat you up pretty good can you get up and uh, let me try. I don't think so. Whoa! Spinning world of doom! Take a look around. We are locked in a dungeon. I don't think there's any way to escape. Arcia is locked up too. Oh, dang it. Arcia, why the crap did you have to open up your big mouth? Anyway, guys, next time we'll try to figure out a way to unlock ourselves from this dungeon. Until then, this is you too young for this signing off saying, keep things frosty.